In this section, we're going to discuss some of the more advanced calling features on your OpenStage 15, including hold, conference, and transfer. Now let's go take a look. There are two different ways you can put a call on hold. The easiest way is to utilize one of the free programmable keys. In this case, simply press the hold FPK and the call is put on hold. To take the call off of hold, press the hold key again and I can continue speaking as before. Alternatively, if you don't have an FPK configured for the hold option, you can scroll down on your context menu until you see hold. Then press OK and the call is now on hold. To take the call off of hold, you simply press the OK button again to reconnect and then once again continue with the call. In the event I have to conference a third party into a call, I can take advantage of two different options. The first and easiest way is to use one of the free programmable keys with the conference function. Simply press the conference button during your call. You now have the option to dial the extension and as soon as the call is answered, press the conference button one more time and we're engaged in a three-party conference. In the event you don't have a conference FPK configured, you can use the context menu. Simply scroll down to start conference and press OK. Dial the extension, press OK, and as soon as the call picks up, scroll down to conference and press OK. Once more, we now have a three-party conference call set up. There are three different options available for you if you want to transfer a call to a third party. The first and easiest way is the blind transfer in which you immediately send a call forward to another party without knowing whether it rings or gets through. On the other extreme is the attended transfer in which you actually have the opportunity to dial through and speak with the transferred party before actually transferring the call. Somewhere in between these two is the semi-attended transfer in which you actually get to transfer the call and hear the phone ringing before you transfer, disconnect, and allow the transferred call to go through. Now let's take a look at these three options. We're first going to show how to do a blind transfer. This is the best method and the fastest method for transferring a call when you know that the third party is going to be answering and that the connection works. So to perform a blind transfer, the best method is to use one of the free programmable keys, like here. When I'm in the middle of a call, I simply press the transfer FPK and then dial the extension. Once I press OK, the call is immediately transferred and I can hang up the phone. Now we're going to show how to do an attended transfer. This is the best method for transferring when you know you're going to have to brief the recipient before the call is transferred. To perform an attended transfer, scroll down on your context menu to consult and then press OK. Dial the number and press OK once more. My phone is now going to dial and I'm going to have a chance to speak to the person before I actually get to transfer the call. Once I've actually prepared and briefed the recipient, I can scroll down to complete transfer and then press OK. The call then transfers and once that happens, my call is disconnected and I can hang up. To perform a semi-attended transfer, I perform almost the same procedure as I would have for an attended transfer. During the call, I scroll down to consult and press OK. I then dial the extension, press OK once more. At this point, as soon as I hear that the phone is ringing and that the call is going to connect, I can press OK to complete the transfer and my phone will hang up and the call goes through. Now we're going to show how to dial from call logs. There are four call logs available on your OpenStage 15. Received calls, dialed calls, missed calls, and forwarded calls. Each of these logs has up to 30 calls. So, to dial from a log, simply press the envelope key. And then on the call log option in the context menu, press OK. You're then presented with your four logs. Missed, dialed, received, and forwarded. In this case, I'm going to access the missed call log. So simply scroll over it and press OK. You can then see all the people who missed calls on your phone. In this case, I want to speak with Alice. So I scroll down to her name and press OK. I'm immediately put through to Alice. Now we're going to show how to deflect a call. 
This is an especially useful feature in cases where you're busy or you're maybe going to be on the move so that you can bounce the call towards a mobile phone, a secretary, or a colleague. So for deflecting a call, you wait for the call to start ringing, and then on the context menu, scroll down to deflect. Press OK, and then the number or extension that you want to deflect the call to. Press OK again, and the call is automatically redirected without you having to intervene. In cases where I'm regularly deflecting a call to a specific location, for instance my mobile phone, a colleague, or even my voicemail number, it's best to use a free programmable key, or FPK. In this case, I have a voicemail FPK set up so that whenever I can't answer the call right away, I simply press the FPK and it will automatically be passed to my voicemail without me having to pick up the phone. And as you can see, that's the easiest way to deflect a call. To configure one of the free programmable keys, just press the FPK you want to configure and hold it down. As soon as you're prompted to program it, simply press OK to confirm. You are now able to choose between the normal behavior of the button, or by scrolling down, the shifted behavior of the button. In this case, we're going to configure the normal setting. So scroll up to normal and press OK. Scrolling down, you can now choose between a number of useful calling functions. In this case, we're going to use the mute function. So scroll to mute and press OK. At this point, that button is now programmed to use mute and the label is such. Once you've confirmed this, scroll up to save and exit and press OK. The changes are now saved and every time you're on a call, if you press that FPK, you can put the call in or out of mute mode. Once you've configured your FPKs in the way you like, you're able to create labels for them using a template available on the wiki page. So at that point, you will automatically be able to see what each button does. To set call forwarding, press the call forward FPK, and then press OK. By default, OpenStage phones remember the last number that you set call forwarding to, and will automatically forward calls to that number. To deactivate call forwarding, simply press the call forward key again. To set call forwarding to a different number, press the call forward button and scroll down to set a forwarding destination, and then press OK again. Then type in the new number and press OK. Calls will now be forwarded to this new number instead. To set more advanced call forwarding options, Press the call forward button and scroll down to edit call forwarding and then press OK. You'll now have an option to set call forwarding to all calls in the same way that you did before or you could set different behaviors for if the phone is busy or there's no reply. To do so, simply press OK on busy and confirm to turn it on and then enter the number and then press OK. Then scroll down to No Reply and press OK and repeat the behavior one more time, this time setting the different number that you want calls to go to when there's no answer. Once you've done this, you've now set a policy so that there will be different numbers dialed every time. Another option you can set to make call forwarding much easier in the future can be done by pressing OK and scrolling down to edit favorites. Pressing OK now gives you the ability to set a list of numbers that you can quickly get to every time you want to forward calls. So to enter the first number, simply scroll down and press OK. Then, simply enter the number and press OK. Scroll down to the next entry you want Press OK and repeat the process with the new number. You now have a list of numbers that can form a bit of a quick list every time you want to set call forwarding, so you don't have to manually enter each number every time.